Illinois Fudge with Shoreline Marine Products. I've been a certified marine mechanic for over 25 years and I'm here today as Captain Weekend. Today I'm going to share a variety of easy boating projects that you can do yourself with the common tools that you've probably got in your toolbox right now. I'll be by your side every step of the way and together we'll install a variety of top quality Shoreline Marine Products to get you back on the water faster. So let's get going. Grab your tools and I'll share my tips and tricks so you can easily install those new hot shoreline accessory and replacement parts and be your own Captain Weekend. Hi, it's Loy, Captain Weekend with Shoreline Marine. I'm going to show you how to make a buck connection between two wires, a lot of our electrical videos, electrical products, we're, we're referring to a to this segment in it. And um, so basically, what we're going to do is take these two wires, connect connect them together with a buck connector. We're going to use the heat shrink buck connector. You can also use just a standard buck connector. We'll go ahead and show you both ways so that you'll know the difference in the two. Okay, tools we're going to need. Going to need some dikes, wire cutters, wire strippers, crimpers. For our heat shrink bunk connectors, we're going to need a heat gun and then also our liquid electric tape. First thing we're going to do is strip our wires back. Want to go back about a quarter of an inch or so. Twist the ends. Make sure all of the threads in the wires are nice and tight. They slide into the bunk connectors a lot easier. This wire is a 16 gauge wire, so we're going to use the blue buck connectors on it. Slide it in. Take our crimpers. Give it a good solid crimp. Give it a tug, make sure it won't, it's not loose. Take the other end of our wire. Again, about a quarter of an inch strip and a twist. Inside, and crimp. Another tug, make sure everything's good there. All right, we've got a nice crimp on it. Now we want to heat shrink our connectors. You want to make sure you keep bare skin away from these things once they warm up, because they do get hot and they will burn you. You want to shrink this down to where it's good and tight around the wire. There's a little bit of sealant inside of these also. And it'll actually ooze out a little bit out of the end of them. Then you know you've got them good and shrunk down like properly. Now we'll let it cool for a little while and then we'll take our liquid electric tape, paint the ends of it and be ready to go a nice waterproof seal give you years of trouble-free, corrosion-free usage out of it. Okay, while we're letting that cool, we're going to go ahead and install one of the, just the insulated connectors. This is actually a ring terminal. This is 3H. You can put it on your battery, your positive side of your battery. Again, you want to strip back about a quarter of an inch. Slide the buck connector in, or I'm sorry, the ring terminal in. You want to have it so that the end of the wire is just starting to protrude from the end of the insulation. Then we give it a good crimp. And a tug. We're all good there. Now these being non-heat shrink connectors, we definitely want to put some liquid electric tape on top of them to get a good seal on our wires so we don't have corrosion working back up our wires and causing problems down the road. I'm going to take this, dab it in the end so we get a good fill, seal there where we crimped at and then back here on the back side by the wire we want to fill that in also so that we don't get any moisture wicking in through the back side. want to leave the connection clean so that we have a good solid connection when we do hook it up to the battery. 
and then we'll let this dry a little bit and while we've got it going we'll go ahead and seal our, our heat shrink connector up also. Again on the ends, these heat shrink connectors are sealed pretty well. I always do this just to make sure I didn't get any nicks in it when I was doing the crimping. Make sure I go over where I crimped at and then the ends just as a little added protection for down the road. Let those dry and we'll be ready to go after that.